slightly different review here. This is one of the older uh, Tamiya kits, uh, dating from the 70s. Still widely available and um, well worth having a look at if you want a sort of quick and easy build. And it is quite cheap as well because it's been churned out over the years. Uh, starting with the box, it's quite a small box, but um, as is the case with older uh, Tamiya kits, you do get quite a lot of information on the box. So on the back here you can see that it goes hand in hand with their um, Hanna Mag, which is on the same series of the older types. Um, and also you get the figures and you get a painting guide. This is all in Japanese, but um, that's not a problem. You can usually work out what's, what's being said there. There's a few other, part, um, a few other kits here that are available in the same series. Uh, there's the date, 1974. Um, and then on here you've got a bit of the insignia for the uh, figures, which is also useful. And you also get a bit of information on the um, flaps here as well, so colour. So this side's got a few bits here for the uh, soldiers again, and then there's um, a few uh, the weapons and a few other parts. So that's very good from the box. And this is a short and simple and easy kit, which is quite useful sometimes if you want a bit of a sort of mojo boost. Um, and this is the instructions, it's one piece, you've got, this is the English part of the instructions. You've got a write up here explaining um, about the use of the Pack 3536. Um, colour call outs here for the uh, figures that you get included. A diagram here showing the layout of uh, how you might want to pose the gun once it's finished. And then over the other side, it's a sort of, again, it's the layout form, so it's split into five or six uh, parts. So you put the gun together here, uh, the, the you put part of the base of the gun here, so it is simplified, we are talking 70s technology, so don't expect um, a thinness of plastic or uh, a hollow gun barrels and things like that, or slide moulding, but I mean it's certainly workable, all of this is just sort of modelling skills. Um, so a few parts coming together here to make up uh, the breech for the gun, then the gun shield goes on here and we start to make up parts for the leg and then the wheels go on and you've got the option of the uh, stick bomb assembly or the gun barrel going onto the main body and um, the build is then finalised. You've also got parts here if you want to add it to the Hanaman kit which is the SDKFZ251 and there's a few parts here uh, for ammo boxes with open or closed. So obviously like I say a very simple kit, you probably put this together in a day without much uh, issue. There are also Japanese instructions which do, do duplicate everything as far as that's concerned but you do have an interesting breakdown here just showing you uh, how the German military was made up um, through the divisions and which ones had the packs etc. So you might be able to work that out um, but obviously that's in a different language. Then there's two sprues in a bag here. You've got one sprue in green for the figures, which are, um, we'll start with the figures, they are dated, obviously again, as it's a 70s kit. Um, they're certainly usable and workable. Um, some of the poses are a bit um, unnatural and some of the detail is a bit blurred, but again, for you know for its age, it's, uh, it's very good. And um, unless you're really picky, you should be able to get these looking good with a, a really nice paint finish. So you've got all the parts there put the figures together and uh, the helmets are separate so you know there are some options there to change some things up so that's nice and then we've got one sprue which contains the gun and uh, <laughs> everything's on here and it's it, it's very nice so there's good rivet detail and um, hinges here on the gun shield um, obviously it's a little bit thicker than if you were to have a photo etch or a modern um, version of it but um, what you'll find, and quite surprisingly, is quite how crisp the moulding is across most of this, because uh, it is Tamiya, even though it's old, it is um, it, it is done very well. This here is the mount for the SDKZ251, if you wish to use it. So um, I'm going to put this one together and film it and do a bit of a build log. I'll probably have this together in um, quite a short video. So I uh, hope you enjoy, and there's a quick little review just to um, have a look what's inside the box. So that is the 3.7cm anti-tank gun, or the Pack 3536 by Tamiya, and that's kit number 35. So that gives you an idea of how uh, early in the range it is.